<laughs> I was getting worried for a minute. It's uh, shining like a diamond. It's like red lightning. Easy. They make it easy. Nice lightweight pack. Why are you so jumpy, Summit? <laughs> what? Yeah. He's got a little slower pace, I rec I noticed than Jed. Jed. Oh no, it's not bad. Jed just seems to be like I never even feel the pull. He's just it's always lax, he's right there. Yeah. No, he ain't bad. I can just kind of feel him a lot more than just Jed. Yeah. He keeps his distance from me. Jed's on my shoulder. He stays back a few feet. Yeah. You know what reminds me of, uh, when I look at them, they look like rabbit. They have rabbit heads on like, I don't know what kind of body. I guess a camel. They're the weirdest critters. Is that an insult, bud? Man, no rabbit. Looks rabbit to me. survived evolution like this is what nature created after millions of years of evolution that's what was the best you got that's that's the lean machine that survived how the hell hey they're not built for lux Brian. <laughs> what is it they're not gonna outrun a predator they're not gonna like they must have something secret weapons kung fu they're intimidating just their looks. <laughs> they scare their opponents. Well, we got about five miles, six miles we want to go today to get to where, get to the canyon we really want to hunt, so we're just going to keep pushing on, but we thought we'd park it in glass every now and then, see if we can pick up a bear. Mark 
found one off the trail, so we're gonna tie these puppies up, get the packs off them, and find more. so we figured we'd give it a quick glance. And uh, I think it's a little early. And we just didn't, we haven't found anything else. So maybe here in a week, coming out of this country, we'll find some more. But we got big rain last night. It's a hot day. I think they're gonna start popping. But a little bit early for them. So this looks like a burn from two years ago. Um, usually the, you get a burn that very next year, the spring, like right now, you find a ton of them in most, most burns. And those little fire morels are pretty good, but, um, second year is like, eh, you don't usually find nearly, nearly as many. But we're just scanning around these old, where this burn kind of swept through. And, uh, if you got an eye for it, you pretty much see them if they're there, but... Nope, we're pretty well void. There's little fire caps coming up. We're probably a week early for morels.
it's a way hotter day today. We've got a lot of miles, so we're gonna base camp here and just hunt from this. We've got good drainages straight behind us back here we've passed really good area and then in front of us we got some good stuff so we got a nice creek right here to get water pretty sweet spot if you ask me See the red kind of rocks to the right through the, those cliffs? Through the throwing rocks off? Yep, yep. These are right below. Right where red lighting was? Yep. These are right there. It's to the left of that uh, lower snow patch. It's kind of behind some timber now, but he's got a brown muzzle. It's moving right to left. He's got swagger. There he is. Wide open. There he is. Finding a few flowers up there at the top. It's crazy how brown it looks compared to last year, doesn't it? Yeah. He looks pretty big to me, Ryan. Yeah, he's a good one. Yeah, he's, a, he's not a small, he's not a medium. He's a, looks like a good mature bear. I've been like looking at the edges <laughs> everywhere before I <laughs> zoomed into the Before you just cheated and went right to the spot. Yeah, I didn't want to go right to it. It's not even that green though. No. Yet. And it's high. But you can see like he's settling into those, um, those little yellow flowers. It's just some of those. You know, the leaves on those are pretty significant. I saw. You watch those llamas eat them too. Like their limbs mm -hmm. come out and they just pick each one. Yeah. You don't yeah. realize how deft their lips are. Yeah. They're like hands, fingers. He's all the way at the top, huh? Yeah. Up in the cliffs. Hurt near he's... Higher than I thought he would have been. A little sunlight to hit him. Mm -hmm. He's just chomping down those yellow flowers. It's definitely a bear worth doing for, putting a tag on. He's got some fat on him, he looks like. Yeah. Chubby. Yeah. I wish he'd step out. I mean, he's... Jeez, it's a long ways. So this first main ridge is... 1,400 yards, probably another 1,400 yards <laughs> after that. Maybe not quite that. All right, he's, he's coming out. He's kind of moving through the timber.
<laughs> and now the way the light hits him, he looks just like a solid black. He's about 3,000 yards away is all. Handsome bear. He's a handsome bear. He's not bright red and shining like a diamond, but <clears throat> it's a good looking black bear. You're convinced he's black black? No, I'm not yet. <laughs> Trying to figure that out now. He almost looks chocolate, man. He got he's got he's got a tint tinge. He's got a tint of dark brown to him. I mean, the light, if the sun was on him, he'd tell all, but... I think he looks like chocolate. I do, too. Well, at least when I looked at him for a minute. He's got a nice head on him. How crazy would that be if he's the same chocolate from last year? The but every time I see... Like a little bit of lightness behind him, he's got a tint of brown. So, we got a little update for you. Ryan just found another bear, another color face. It looks like there's two. I think the the one over, the one we spotted first, is bigger. You think? I can't quite tell yet. It's hard to say. This one. Boy, this one's got almost a light, lighter chocolate look to it. They're both real pretty bears. They're right, right where we expected to see them. I <laughs> <laughs> so, just hope they're there and there they are. He looks kind of red, Brian. I know, yeah, this is lighter than the other one for sure. You think that's red lightning? I don't know. I don't know if he's that thunderous. I wish that sun would hit him. Dude, with this he looks red. He's so far away. What would be the odds, dude? That we see chocolate and red? In the yes. Scene? So I'm gonna straight line it on Onyx and see uh -huh. where, how far we are from him. So quickest way to see how far he is because he's way beyond what my rangefinder is gonna tell me is uh, I just go to Onyx and drop a drop a dot where we're at, drop a dot where he's at, and he's 1.67 miles from here. Straight line. That's a long ways how we'd have to get to him. It'd be, a, it'd be several miles. But yeah, he's a long ways off. I'm gonna drop some pins on where we got him located. To drop a few bear pins in here. He's just off that top. And then this one is just below those cliffs. Pull up the cliffs here and drop another bear. He's right in those cliffs. You know, he's right in those cliffs. Oh, he's got a nice coat, man. I like that color. I like the color. He looks skinnier, but it's hard to say. Yeah. Watch him for a bit. See his it's little mannerisms. two bears, <laughs> right in the magic zone. <laughs> and that's why we bust our hump to get in here. Those bears just live in here and die of old age, or some grizzly eats them. Mm -hmm. All that funny how you learn an area 
different areas, you know. And then there's a, you start to figure out, even bears in general, you start to figure out where they like to be. Yeah. What kind of pockets they it's hit. like everywhere, like once you know a spot, you just know right where to look. It's like I said before, when we got here, I didn't want to look right in the hot zone where they were. Yeah. I wanted to check out all this other stuff. And then when I was like, zoomed in on it, it was like, oh, there's a bear in the hot spot. And then the other hot spot, there's a bear where we saw the jet black last year. Crazy. He looks red, man. Need that sun to make him look orange, mm -hmm. you know, for mm -hmm. sure. Yeah. I like the look of that. That's a sweet color, man, both of them. He's just a lighter, he's definitely lighter color than the uh, dark, dark chocolate the other one is. All right, well, third bear on the moon. There he is. Gosh, I can't quite tell, there's some shake here. It's See how big he is, but he's not a little boo boo. He looks pretty decent. And he's just way high. Man, three bears right in that level to up at the top. It's crazy. He looks like he's a chocolate, too. Three chocolates. Yeah. Heck. I mean, I can't quite 100% <laughs> confirm, but he looks, he looks good. It's crazy. I can see two like bears in the same frame. Dark chocolate. With my binos, I see them both at the same time. Yeah. Yep. The other one is just on the other side of the cliffs. He's up there, a couple snow patches. Oh, he's got fast steps. Yeah, he does. He might not be a giant, might be a medium. He doesn't have the swagger. No. He's over, he's over one and a half miles away. He's you know, the furthest away. Knows, yeah, he could be pushing, pushing two miles away. He doesn't have that slow gait, rounded shoulders. But he's got the color. He's got a brown muzzle. Yeah, I don't think he's big. Looks like a small to medium. That's all right, even if he is a small to medium. Yeah. That's three bears in our little honey hole. That's cool. First day. Come on, Red Lightning. Mm. That sun's up there now. We can Put see some the color colors. on them. And there's bear number four. They're all spread out across that top. Wow. This one looks like a straight black. Well, that's bear number four. Yeah. He's black, you think? I can't quite tell. It's hard, he's in the shadow and he's a mile and three quarters away. They love this mountain. I love it. That's funny as you look up there and you just don't see much green. Like it just looks, it's got the brown tint. You don't see the green until you get down here. Mm -hmm. But when you really like zoom in your spotter, you see the yellow flowers. Flowers. The yellow flowers mm -hmm. and there. the water and the timber. Yeah, timber patches. It's, it's got all the things. Bear number five is a 
big beautiful chocolate and uh, he's in the same frame as this little smaller bear kind of reminds me of a sow but this one here is nice he's just a slow mover he's just he's got that swag you know yeah he looks nice look how slow he walks yeah that's five bears in this pocket as far as we can tell five bears yeah there's Hopefully six. <laughs> Ryan's still looking for that red bear. A lot of brown chocolate. That chocolate is a beast. Yeah, look at him just rolling those shoulders. I'm just strutting up that ridge though. Gosh, I love seeing that. How many chocolates? I'm excited about the that big chocolate with the swagger. Mm-hmm. Man, I love it when they, they just go to snail's pace. Oh, here comes chocolate again. He's, gosh, he's like just teetering into those trees. He came out and just walked back in under that shade. I saw his face. He's got a brown muzzle. Kinda. Which one, the chocolate? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I need him to cruise into the sunshine there. Give me a nice look in the sun. There we go. He got some color, dude. Yeah, he's bright. Mm. He's bright. Handsome bear. It's a very handsome bear. Yeah. I think he's the best one up there. Yep. Best one I've seen of the five. Best bear of the five. <laughs> <laughs> I like hearing that. <laughs> What's funny is they haven't moved an inch. And we've still only been here an hour. A little over an hour. Man, look at the coat on that thing. It's beauty. When he like puts his feet down, picks his feet up like he's stocking in on something. Mm -hmm. I, don't know, I don't know how we're gonna know our chocolate from last year. There's so many chocolates up there. That is a sweet looking bear. Hey everybody, thanks for watching the video. I've got uh, another one dropping on Sunday and I'm gonna drop another video the following Sunday. It looks like this series is gonna be three parts. Hope you enjoyed this one. It was my first time uh, hunting with llamas in my life and it was awesome. And now I want my own llamas. I just got to give a little plug for Mark Livesey at Treeline Pursuits. Uh, Mark has become a good friend of mine. Really, really love that guy. And uh, he's the one that has created and, and provides the e-scouting courses that you see pop up here and there in our films. And if you haven't bought Mark's e-scouting course, you really are missing out. It's, I think, probably the best e-scouting course on the interwebs. So check that out. And uh, follow him on, on uh, Instagram at Treeline Pursuits. And uh, if you're interested in renting llamas, that's an option too from Mark. But yeah, I, I was fascinated by those llamas. I, I did a little more digging on llamas when I got back from the trip. And as you could see, I went a little crazy with some of the little updates. One of the things I didn't realize about llamas was uh, how, how long they've been domesticated. Uh, four or five thousand years, humans have been domesticating them, and they're they're uh, they're so they're nothing like the wild version. It's kind of like taking a wolf and a chihuahua; like they're not the same. Like they have changed. So that's that's what this is like. You you got like uh, the gu guanaco or whatever that the llama uh, is. It's the llama's ancestor or what they were bred from. Like I said, it's like a wolf and a chihuahua. 
except the other way around. The llama is way bigger than the guanaco and uh, can carry it much heavier loads. I, I was looking at those llamas and I'm like, how did they survive evolution? Well, they're not really the product. That's like looking at a chihuahua and wondering how it survived evolution. It doesn't really work that way. Uh, llamas were bred um, to be the size and the way they are now from a wild species. And it makes more sense to me now. But um, things I didn't know were like how their eyes have blinders in them to stop from snow blindness, how well their blood cells work at high elevation. I just love animals and learning about animals and to see these animals um, and how they operate. They're fascinating. And Mark's llamas are exceptional. Uh, he got them from Bo Beatty, some of them. Um, he's learned a lot from Bo. Bo's, Bo's kind of a llama connoisseur if you want to look Bo up, if you're interested in learning more about llamas. I'm going to get Mark on the podcast to talk more about llamas on upcoming podcast episodes. It's been a little quiet uh, on the gritty front. Uh, I'm a one-man show nowadays. Brent's on a long sabbatical, so I'm just kind of by myself, and it's been a busy, busy, busy fall. But we're getting ramped back up, so look for content on Sunday. Look for content the following Sunday. And if you want to get bonus content, I've got a, I've got some cool stuff that's going to drop on our uh, stealthy, uh, gritty stealthy locals community. And you can uh, go to gritty.locals.com and uh, join us there. Um, if you want to become a subscriber over there, you're going to get access to a bunch of exclusive content that you can only find over there. Uh, I just wanted to say one more time, check out the e-scouting classes from Mark um, and support him. He's an awesome dude. And if you use the code gritty, you get a big discount and that helps me with my show as well. And also, um, Lampers, got to check out Lampers uh, line of, of products. He's got the rifle covers and he's got the butt pads over there. And, uh, and then he's got all his nutrition products too. So go over to Stealthy Nutrition and check, check all that out. And links are below. Um, there is some Black Friday stuff that you guys are probably maybe keen on because sales are coming up. Peaks is doing a big sale, massive sale on Black Friday through November 30th. So use the code gritty over there. I think you get like, I think it's, let me check. I think it's 30% off. Uh, I think it's 25% off site-wide until uh, November 30th. So use the code gritty over there and you'll get the discount. Plus you'll get a new um, Peaks Merino wool beanie as a free gift. Also Mountain Ops is doing 30% off with the code gritty as well throughout Black Friday. Um, and yeah, check out, check out all that stuff. And we're going to do a giveaway. Leave a comment below. And uh, like this video, share it with your buddies and your friends, get the word out as much as possible and uh, do that for our videos on, on the following two Sundays in this series. And at the end of it, I'm going to give away a Leupold range finder. So um, yeah, I just, I'm just glad to be back. It's been a while. I'm glad to be back. I really appreciate all the support. I hope you guys are stoked for new content. I've got uh, a grizzly bear hunt coming up that we're going to share with you. And uh, like I said, some bonus content over at Locals. We'll, ha we'll have a three-part movie series over there as well. Uh, some Yule Deer stuff. And uh, we got more um, Lampers family Mule Deer hunts coming your way too. So we're working on editing all those up. And uh, just be checking back each Sunday. We're going to try to drop a lot of new footage over the coming weeks. But like I said, I'm a one-man show right now, so be patient. If you've got a Euro mount that you need a bracket for or a pedestal or something like that, these were made by my friend uh, Jim Nakarado over at Iron Mountain Skull Hangers. And right now, uh, they are carry they're being carried by Black Ovis. So if you go to Black Ovis, uh, you can buy these awesome hangers over there. They're iron mountain skull hangers. And if you look at the link below in the description field, you'll see uh, a link to that. And uh, Jim's an awesome dude. I'm going to get him on the podcast and a show out on, on, on him right now. But all my elk in my living room are all hung with, uh, with uh, iron mountain uh, skull hangers and the pedestal one ones I have in the house 
I like these. These are custom ones by Jim, and Jim does custom work if you go down there. This is the state of Idaho. Anyway, they're really cool. There's a lot of um, cool design and angles that he's gone into creating these, that have gone into creating these, and uh, they're super cool, and Jim's just an awesome guy. So check them out at Black Ovis. Link is below. I appreciate all the love. Like I said, leave a comment, like, subscribe to our channel, and uh, we're going to do that giveaway for a Leupold rangefinder. Big thanks to Leupold for supporting me and supporting my show. As always, thanks for tuning in. Stay gritty. <laughs> <laughs>